So I got started in model aviation because my dad's a full-scale pilot, so I've been flying with him in, uh, in Cessna 172s, 182s since I was very little. Um, I eventually went to a local hobby shop and they got me set up with the Horizon Hobby Super Cub. And at the time I didn't know about all the AMA clubs and organizations that are out there, so I just went out to my school's field, taught myself how to fly and crashed over and over and over again. And uh, eventually I got the hang of it. And I've been hooked on it ever since then. That was about eight years ago. Model aviation has completely changed my life. I've uh, just started as a student at Western Michigan University in aerospace engineering and building and flying and rebuilding, fixing model airplanes has really opened my eyes to the world of aviation and engineering and all the STEM careers that are out there and I really look forward to continuing doing things with airplanes and other aircraft in my, my future. So I fly giant scale 3D, um, I fly extreme flight airplanes, uh, mostly 35% scale. Uh, I also fly a bit of the, the smaller 3D sizes. Um, let's see, I have a few foamies like what we see out here that I enjoy flying in my free time and just to have fun with. Uh, some of my other other hobbies, uh, during the summer I enjoy hanging out on the lake, stuff like that. Um, I also currently started a restoration project on a Ford 1971 Bronco, so that's been taking a lot, a lot of my time as well as RC. Um, one of my, I guess, most important influences would have been uh, an old friend of mine, uh, her name was Jenny, and she taught me a lot on a flight simulator back years and years ago, and she was, she used to fly RC, she flies full scale more now, but she really got me into all the 3D flying, and she told me about uh, Joan All week at Triple Tree, and she had me come down there, and that's what exposed me to how big the RC hobby really is, and ever since then, I've just been hooked, and it's just been amazing, an amazing experience, and I love every aspect of it. So for uh, children, I, I would, I guess the most important thing I'd recommend for getting into the RC hobby is purchasing a flight simulator. It may seem like a, a bigger cost at first, but it'll really save you a lot of money in the future. Um, that way you can fly all year round, you can crash as much as you want and you won't lose a dime. And that's really how I personally learned all of the maneuvers and acrobatics that I do with my airplanes and I've met a lot of people through uh, Real Flight's multiplayer servers and it's just, it's amazing and after you get a lot of time on the Real Flight simulator, you go out and purchase a smaller foamy, go to a hobby store and talk to the employees there and they, they can really help you out and send you in the right direction and just don't ever give up, you're going to crash, everybody crashes, just keep with it, glue that plane back together and get it flying again and you'll get the hang of it.